Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod update video where we are on episode 15 and we have five more console mods to cover in today's mod update. Two for PlayStation 4 and three for Xbox One. The second video out right now is a Skyrim mod update, so check that out after this one if you haven't already. If you enjoyed today's mods, leave a like, it's super appreciated, and let's look at the first mod, which is called Darker Nights and Rainy Weather. With this mod, nights are much darker now and rainy weather occurs about twice as often as usual. More intense rain thunderstorms have been added to increase the variety of rain weathers as well. It's a simple mod that does exactly what it says, the nights are much darker now, so you'll have to use your flashlight on your pit boy to see, and it makes for a much more apocalyptic atmosphere. Now, with so much more and more violent storms in game, it's definitely one worth trying out. The best part I like about this one is you have no idea what is just in front of you, even with your torch, so it's very scary to travel around at night now on your own. Next up we have the rebuilt Modular Sanctuary Pre-War and Post-War set. The mod adds two new categories under the Structure Metal tab, Pre-War Sanctuary and Post-War Sanctuary to your workshop. Allows you to build your own sanctuary homes of varying levels. Build set contains floors, walls, railings and roofs of the sanctuary style in both pre-war and post-war fashions. Current build colours are blue, green, yellow and red. All are nav mesh for followers and settlement NPCs of course, which is really good as you want your followers and other NPCs to go in and out of them. The mod is really awesome, will allow you to build any settlement, especially Sanctuary, back to its former glory, or a better looking post-war version. You have tons and tons of options, and to be honest, it's one of my favourite build mods for settlements, super easy to use, and all this stuff looks really nice. The next mod of the day is called the Loot Realism Collection. The mod pack contains Moonracer's realism mods all in one place, so you can save space in your load order by downloading this one mod that contains loads of mods. The mods include Loot Logic and Reduction, which is a mod that replaces the items you find in the leveled list in game, so you can find less and less valuable items, making scavenging more realistic. Vendor Diversity Overhaul. The mod makes adjustments to the inventories of many vendors in the game to make them stand out more from each other. Vendors generally carry less ammo, more shipments, and you might find items not sold by vanilla merchants. NPC Loot Drop Rebalanced. This replaces the leveled list for NPCs who usually have a certain type of leveled list, but now you will find more variety of items on NPCs, including more stim bags. No legendary items from creatures. This mod checks what type of enemy spawns as a legendary and uses that to decide whether to place a legendary item in their inventory. They will still have all the stats and bonuses of a legendary enemy, you just don't get any bonus rewards. And what this means is the most enemies that should be carrying guns and armors don't spawn legendary gear. Animals, bugs, and robots still have a chance to be legendary, but they definitely won't drop legendary gear. Humans, ghouls, super mutants, and synth definitely still have a chance to do so though. Finally, you get the scrounger ammo reduction. This mod simply reduces the amount of ammo found in the scrounger perk by two thirds and also adds the 0.45 and 70 and the 7.62 caliber rounds to the list of ammo found with the scrounger perk. They begin to appear around level 19 and 29 respectively. So a whole bunch of awesome loot changes all in one mod. The separate mods are still available if you want them. The next mod adds in a couple of fun new items to the game. Items are located in a trunk outside of Vault 111 on the Elevator platform. Ultra Stim Meds that remove all rads, cure all addictions, and restore all lost health. This can be crafted at the chem station and has been added to the level list so it pops up randomly in medikits throughout the game and on NPCs. Although I'm not sure you'll need it because for some reason when you get it from the chest, it has over 130,000 of them. Doomsday Outfit featuring heavy overpowered stats, not to mention it looks really cool. You get a Spec Ops AK style rifle Rifle, which is a big game rifle for taking down those big trophy monsters to hang on your wall. So a simple but really cool mod. Well that just leaves us with our final mod of today, the Dread Headgear Pack. The mod adds a new headgear to the Commonwealth. First, the masks and helmets are stashed in an expert level lock safe, which is in the crater of Atom in the Glowing Sea, and it's just inside the building there. Inside the box you will find the following items. The copper helmet, looks kind of like a workman's helmet. The gas mask dark and this one comes in different variations, you get closed and open kinds. You get the same mask, it's just in a different colour, which is kind of a yellowy brown. You get the rebel helmet, which I have to admit is my favourite one. A steampunk gas mask style helmet, which comes in both yellowy brown colour and again in a grey colour, and you get open and closed versions. So that's four different kinds of masks there. All the masks or helmets have a damage resistance of around 33. Of course the gas masks give you an additional resistance to radiation, and all of them have plus one perception on them. So not only do they look really awesome, they are pretty effective in combat as well, or if you're exploring the wastelands. So definitely check this one out for yourself. 
Well, that's about it for today's mods. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like is super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you think, whether you're gonna try any of these mods, or if you already have, let others know what you thought about them. But either way, thanks for watching, stay awesome as always, and I will see you all in the next video.